Hey there, welcome to Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. Today we're starting Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits. Alright, so these kinds of houses down here, um, only have information, these like little home tiles here, um, they're just gonna have information in them, but we are forced to visit them in this episode, so that's what I'm gonna do. She is referring to this area over here, this wall that's got a crack in it. Uh, oh, I guess I have to use Sane first. Whatever. Let's go. So the mountain tiles are these ones over here. So Kent and Sane can't cross over them because they're on horses. Lynn could. Um, I don't know if I'm going to send her all the way down there, though. Mountains do give you a defensive bonus, though. Weird, yes, but classic in RPGs. more and more strategy being involved as we get into the later chapters um, so for this one I think I'm gonna bait this bandit into attacking someone on one of these forest tiles because that's pretty advantageous for me so let's have um, Saint make sure they're both using their swords All right, there we go so he went for Kent I don't really know how the AI decides who they attack. Um, Kent, uh, like that works out fine for me because Kent's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna finish him off with Sane though. Kent's just gonna get a lot of experience in general just because he's so good with swords. You can see um, he has this, this weapon rank here. Um, sword mastery level and spear mastery, so sword is a little bit better, um, and Sane is a little bit better with the lances, so he's going to have to work to level up his sword skill. Yeah, see, he's like, I don't think Kent has actually, well he's killed like one person, but he's leveled up already. So, 
this guy is just low enough that Sane can finish him off again. Ooh, critical. He's a pretty cool critical too. I like it with this sword. It looks a little different when he's holding a lance. Um, let's give... Oh, that's kind of... I don't want Lynn to take too much damage because she's kind of frail. So I'm going to have Kent weaken this guy. And Lynn's going to finish him off. I like her 100% hit rate. It's super reliable. Ooh, I was hoping for some strength there. Okay, so only a couple, a couple guys left. Um, gonna have Sane start working on breaking down this wall. And these guys, Lin and Kent, will be right behind, ready to charge in. The perimeter is breached. All right, so let's have these guys work on that guy. Bandits must have pretty low skill because they have a hard time hitting Lin. Uh, this pillar here is another defensive bonus tile. All right, finish off this bandit. I don't really know if I'm going to use Kent and Sane later. They're, they're okay. Um, I'd rather use Sane than Kent, I think. But Kent has better support, so I don't know. Um, can this guy hit? Yeah. Um, what level is this guy? Level 3? That matches with Lin pretty well. Maybe... Uh... But Kent has the advantage in lances, so maybe he'll do that. Stabby, stabby. He basically took a lance to the face and he's still standing, which is impressive. He does heal a little bit every turn just from standing on the throne, which kind of kind of sucks. You can use it to um, abuse experience gaining, though. Uh, I don't think I've ever done that, but you basically just keep attacking and they keep healing, so you can just keep attacking and gaining experience every turn. I won't be doing that in this playthrough because that's kind of boring for you guys. Sane just soloed this guy. Took him down. No sweat. Yeah, Sing gets pretty good strength. He has high, high strength growth. Um, I think I want Lin to get the kill again. So, sorry, Sing. I mean, sorry, Kent. So close, come on. Vulnerary. Did he kind of have a vulnerary already? Yeah, he does. Okay. That's fine. Mm. I'll bring all these guys up. I mean, we did it. We protected the altar from the thieves. It was super simple.
Men picked up a snazzy new sword. My sword, hands off. What an evil dastard. Um, Alright, so that finishes off chapter 2. I'll see you in the next part for chapter 3.